Women arrested in one Tennessee county don't get a jail cell. They get chained to a chair. Clay County's jail is so old it has no room for women. Our investigative reporter Ben Hall discovered even pregnant women are treated this way in a county that can't afford justice. If you're a female and you get arrested in this county, you can bet you're going to be sleeping on the floor shackled to a chair. Shauna Scott was arrested in Clay County on a probation violation in February. Even though you've done something wrong, it's not right to treat people like animals. This picture shows how she spent her days and nights, her leg chained to a chair in a hallway with other women. It's awful to have bodies laying they were on these little bitty mats shackled to whatever they could find to shackle you to. That's not right. It's not. You have to beg to go to the bathroom, eat your meals on the floor. No. Clay County's jail is so small, it has no jail cells for women. So officers cuff women to bolted down chairs and give them a mat. 11 weeks. So you're 11 weeks mm -hmm. pregnant. So Mackenzie Melton was pregnant when she spent six days chained to a chair last month. I could either um, lay on the cot or I could sit in the chair that I was shackled to. I couldn't go any farther. When she developed a nosebleed, the county called her grandmother, who was shocked when she saw her pregnant granddaughter and another woman in the hallway. We rescue dogs. Why are we treating humans in this manner? They were both worried about Mackenzie's baby. It was very stressful just being in that much of a stressful situation. I was scared of having a miscarriage. We are forced with putting the females in the floor until we can find further housing for them. Clay County Sheriff Brandon Boone showed us the hallway where up to three women at a time spend days and nights shackled to chairs. He says the 55-year-old jail has just 14 beds, which are overcrowded with men. State law requires separating men and women, so women get the hallway. Would you want your daughter to be kept that way? No, I would not. No, I would not. Um, I, I don't. Um, I don't hold it against anyone that feels ill will towards me or the the county. The county tries to transfer women to surrounding jails, which is all the sheriff says he can do unless his county builds a new jail. But many surrounding counties are full, or they refuse inmates. No facility will take a pregnant female. So we knew at that point. We were out of luck as far as getting her housed in another unit or in another facility. Why didn't somebody come up here and shut this thing down? Attorney Richard Brooks says if the county won't build a new jail, the state should close it. But inspection reports from the Tennessee Corrections Institute repeatedly mention female inmates being housed in the hallway corridor secured with leg irons. TCI can't close a jail. We will be judged by how we treat our prisoners. So. That's what's happening over there. They just don't care. The county has so little money that it's 911 dispatchers are the jail's only two corrections officers. And if a male inmate is suicidal, he's chained in the hallway because there's no place else to put him. We cannot continue this process. We've got to do something about this facility. The county hopes to get a federal loan to build a new jail, but that could take years. To be treated like an animal and, make, and to downgrade yourself to where, you know, it's awful. That means more women will feel like Shauna Scott. For someone that's supposed to be in the law, that someone you're supposed to look up to, look down on you like you're a piece of trash and treat you like trash, it's not right. Incredibly, the state has certified the Clay County Jail because it has an action plan to build a new jail. However, the county does not have an approved plan to pay for it. The state also says overcrowding cannot be a reason preventing certification. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates.